Good afternoon, world. It is four o'clock in the afternoon. It's not the evening, right? The evening, I believe, is five o'clock. Five o'clock plus. Uh, the afternoon is one to four, right? So good, good afternoon, world. It's Ivan Amaya. It's gonna be another very interesting video. If you if you hear a noise, there's renovations going on in the house. They're renovating the, um, they're fixing up the, uh, they're changing the, uh, the wood tiles upstairs so there's renovation going on in the house um there's been a lot of renovation going on in in, in this house the past couple of years you let my set family they re-renovated the kitchen they bought a new fridge a new stove a new they re renovated a new microwave i'm saying i know why they're re-renovating the house because they know i'm soon going to leave this house and so they want to renovate so they can sell it for more money obviously when i, when I leave the house obviously isn't it good? Like, I don't know, three, two and a half years, I'll be out of the house. I don't know, late 2024, I'll be, uh, towards the end of 2024, I'll be out of the house. And once I leave the house, they're going to sell this house, obviously. And they want to make more money, sell for more money, make make some nice profit. Hence why they're going to they're renovating it. That way they can build up the net worth of the house, obviously. That's why they're renovating the house like crazy, obviously. Because they know I'm, I'm soon going to leave this house. As them living in this house is an act, obviously. As they're the gatekeepers, they should be living in this middle house neighborhood. They should be living, yeah. My set families, they obviously own multiple houses. They probably own a few houses in Ottawa. They probably own a few houses around the world. Hotels, condos, houses. They probably own a lot of that around the world. Because they're fucking loaded, obviously. They're rich people. Hence why they're, uh, they're what? They're, 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 they're what? They're renovating the house like crazy these past couple of years. Because they know I'm soon going to get out of this house. Once I pay this fee, I'm going to get out of this house. I'm going to get at least my person on Lulu and I'll, I'll they'll, they'll wait until, okay, we'll let, wait till Ivan gets his check. And once Ivan gets his check, Ivan can get out of the house. He can finally, finally live his life. Yeah, man. I can live my life. I'm free. I can see my wife, obviously. And I'll finally know what it's like to be responsible for paying my own bills, man. Because I'm going to be a billionaire, I don't have to worry about paying bills. You see what I'm saying? Everything is easy. Everything is easy for me, obviously. Whereas all you average people have to budget, obviously. You have to, you have to be responsible and then and budget to pay your bills. So but most average people, they have at least a couple hundred bucks to themselves after they pay their bills. After each paycheck, they all have a couple hundred bucks to themselves after they pay their bills. So their gas, their food. If you live on your own, it's not that bad because like you don't have to pay that much money for food. You spend 200 bucks on food, that's more than 150, 180, 200 bucks on food is more than enough for one person. Because one person, you only need to buy like cereal, uh, milk, some juice. Maybe some, like spaghetti, spaghetti and sauce, and like hot dogs, and like box of pogos, some eggs, bread, and like bacon, and, 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 and some coke, and some beer, and you're good. Cost you 200 bucks, you can easily afford it if it's one person. It's only if you have a family, it's, 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 it's a lot of money. You have to feed your kids and all that stuff, right? Yeah, but if you live on your own, you can easily. Just, you, you, a lot, most people who live on their own have quite a good. Have a, most average people have a lot, have quite a, have like a couple hundred bucks themselves after they pay their bills. At least 300 plus for themselves, which is pretty good. You have 300 bucks for yourself after you pay your bills. That's, 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 that's nice. You can, you can do, do good things for $300. There's some people who blow the rest of their money. There's some people who save some of their money, obviously. So if you have 400 bucks for yourself after you pay your bills, some people might put like, I don't know, 200 bucks in their savings and 200 bucks for them to spend. Um, for the for the week, whatever it is. They use that money for the bar after you bought your food and your beer and all. After you bought your food and everything, they use that money to to go out to a restaurant, see a movie, go to the bar, hang out with hang out with some friends and do stuff. You see what I'm saying? Here? Whereas Ivan Amara doesn't have to worry about bills. I don't have to worry about bills when I'm getting because I'm gonna be a billionaire. That's why I'm not saving my checks. There's no point. I know I'm going to be a blader. There's no point of me what saving my checks, obviously. Because the doors are locked me in either way, right? It's good to, 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 to save, obviously. I recommend you guys save your money, obviously. But if you're a billionaire, you don't have to worry about that stuff. Like, if you're a billionaire, you don't have to have a savings account. Because you're a fucking billionaire. Everything is pocketing to you guys. 
to, to, to the billionaires. Unless you blow like twenty million dollars a year or thirty, forty million dollars a year, then you're being stupid with your money. You, you can run out of you can blow your money, obviously, which I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna probably spend a good like I don't know, five million and five million with with, with, with the, the one year that when I meet VJ, I'm probably gonna spend a good in that one year I'm probably gonna spend what? I don't know, if I get paid like fourteen million dollars, I'm probably gonna spend like, I don't know. With the jet and all stuff, I'm spending a couple hundred million dollars, obviously. But after that, going on a vacation, the only big cost will be the will be the uh, will be the what the the hotel seats, the suites. Staying in a, a suite for three weeks will cost a good will cost a lot of money, man. And like a twenty thousand dollar night suite will cost like three hundred, four hundred grand in like every every three weeks, which is pocket change, obviously. I don't know, how much money will you spend on, on, on the hotel and all this? I don't know. Me and Vijay will probably blow a good, like, 5 million, 4.5, 5 million bucks in that one year. If, excluding the, um, the, 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 the other stuff. Like, the jets and the jet and the yacht and all that stuff in the condo, that stuff is not, doesn't count. I see. But we're going to spend a good, probably, like, I don't know, 4 million, 5 million bucks in costs. Because going to restaurants... Going to the restaurants, hiring limos, limos drivers, and, and buying clothes, that stuff does not affect your budget at all. Clothes only cost, well, only cost us like 70 grand, 100 grand. The, the big cost is like the jet. The two jets are going to cost me and Vigil like, like $100 million. Then you have the yacht, that's like 140 and you have the condo, that's 170 See what I'm saying? 140 plus 170 is what? Three hundred some thousand dollars, three hundred some million dollars. You see what I'm saying, huh? But and yeah, but me and Vijay are probably gonna blow on average like a uh, the first year of the first year when we're selling our group, we're gonna blow like three hundred some million dollars. Obviously, to get all that stuff. Then afterwards, me and Vijay are, on our, are gonna like once we start Sky Source, we're, me and Vijay are probably gonna blow maybe. In that one year, maybe half a million dollars, six hundred thousand dollars, maybe. Obviously, because because I'll be going out every day and take getting takeout like every day for food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's gonna cost like three hundred k. And obviously, me and Vijay are gonna buy some stuff. Obviously, buy some stuff. We might like uh, we might or I might order a bunch of movies on Amazon. You know what I'm saying? Vijay might order some plants, souvenirs, all that stuff. Once in a while, we do that, obviously. The stuff for the house will cost me and Vijay a couple hundred grand around there. Because we're going to get the best like stuff out there. The best stoves. You know those high luxury stoves that the celebrities have? I'm going to get a high tech stove like that. High end fridge with like a, with like, with like, with like a, with a, with a fountain, a water fountain. Or maybe Vijay can, we have like glass and you can, you can, you can, you can pour your water. Yeah, high end laundry machine. Like you know I'm saying, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get like probably like a ten thousand dollar fridge, like ten, twenty thousand dollar stoves, thirty thousand dollar stoves, high end stoves. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? High end couches, ten thousand dollar couches. You know what I'm saying? Ten, twenty thousand dollar laundry machines. Yeah, thirty thousand dollar laundry machines, high tech laundry machines. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But that's all pocket change. It only cost me maybe maybe I don't know a hundred grand for all that. To, to buy all the stuff for the house, uh, the, the the stuff that will be pricey is is the stove, the fridge. Obviously, I'm gonna put money into a nice microwave too, the laundry machine, the TV. Where me and Vijay can get a nice twenty thousand dollar TV, TV to watch stuff on YouTube. As a high chance, I will not be getting cable. For a uh, high chance, I will not be getting cable for a. Uh, High chance I will not be getting cable for uh for for, for when I when I move into my condo. Um, YouTube is more than enough. As p the only thing people watch on cable nowadays is sports. I told you I'm not really a sports guy. I watch sports sometimes, but I'm not really a sports guy. You see what I'm saying? I'm not really a sports guy. You see what I'm saying? I'm not really a sports guy. I used to watch sports, but not anymore. I don't watch sports anymore. I used to watch a lot of, like, CFL. I watched a little bit of NHL. I watched... I don't really watch NFL, but I watched a lot of CFL back in the day. I don't watch CFL much anymore. And, yeah. Yeah. 
I'm not really a sports. The only thing people watch on, on TV, guys, is sports, man. People don't watch news on TV. No, as, as nowadays, all the stuff that's on the news gets posted on YouTube on a channel. You have the Fox channel. You have the, you have, you have the what? You have all these channels. Whenever they have news, they post it on YouTube. That's why everyone nowadays just watches YouTube. Sitting on a, on a Chromecast on a TV. Yes, no one watches TV anymore, man. TV is pretty much dead, pretty much, right? It's because social media, social media took over TV. Just like physical media is pretty much dead right now. And it's all, everything is all online now, man. But I'm going to bring physical media back to life when I release Zayance on 4K Blu-ray. That's going to popularize 4K Blu-ray. Well, 4K Blu-ray is pretty popular. Blu-ray is pretty popular. A lot of people like having like a Blu-ray collection. Obviously, whereas DVD is pretty much dead. Like in a good like I don't know, a couple years from now, DVD will be gone. I remember back in like the early two thousands when VHS was gone, and they just introduced DVD, and now DVD is pretty much dead. No one really buys DVDs anymore, but a lot of people buy Blu-ray. Blu-ray is very popular. Four K Blu-ray too. At four K Blu-ray, you get a better, ex you get a more enhanced experience than than an online tan EP. That's why I want Zayn's to be on four K Blu-ray. You get your nice box set, and you get the nice cover pictures. Whereas online you don't get any cover pictures, you know what I'm saying? And you won't you won't get the 4K Blu-ray experience. It's better to have a collection of Ivan's movie than a fucking online streaming online you're on fucking TV. No. I'm not a fan of online. I'm not a fan of online at all. I'm I am all for 4K Blu-ray, physical media, 4K Blu-ray, obviously. 4K Blu-ray is not dead. 4K Blu-ray is very popular. Whereas DVD is pretty much dead. And again, by the time I release Zane's DVD will probably be no longer. You're probably going to get rid of DVD because everything is online now or like Blu-ray, obviously. But I prefer Blu-ray over 1080p online, you know what I'm saying? I, I am a fan of physical media. That's why if you want Skysers to be the biggest one brand in the industry and compete with Hollywood, you have to have good quality for movies. The best, okay, if it's direct, the, the, to, to, get the best, the actual, to get the best experience in your house... Release it on 4K Blu-ray. That way you get an enhanced experience from my movies. For Zayn's The Great Escape, they're unique. In Vampire and I movie and what? And the uh, Western Gangster movie. That way you get an amazing experience. You see what I'm saying? That way you get an amazing experience. <laughs> that way you get an amazing experience. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm actually just saying yes. That way you get an amazing experience. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so yesterday I ordered um, a what? A screenwriting book on Amazon. It's one of the best screenwriting books ever written. It's by the guy's name. The guy's, the guy's name is Side Something. I went on YouTube and I'm like, hey, the best screenwriting books for for, for, for out there. And I, and I they, they they listed the top five and I bought one of those 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 books on Amazon. I bought a used one like for fifteen bucks. It was fifteen bucks was cheap. It was only like twenty one dollars. I got I bought the books like a three hundred page book, and it's a book about screenwriting. I'm gonna read that book and study it. That way, what I can prepare myself. I can prepare myself as a what as a screenwriter for what. I can prepare myself as a screenwriter for what? For uh, for my Zayn story, obviously. That way, I'm gonna read the book. That way, what? By the time I, I I meet VJ and all stuff, I have some idea of how to write a screenplay. I told you, if you can write your own novel, you should be able to write your own screenplay. Because screenplay is also storytelling too. If you understand the three acts of storytelling, the beginning, middle, and end. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand. I know how to tell a good story, obviously. But screenwriting is a, it's a whole different ball game. Screenwriting is a lot harder than writing a, a, a novel, because whatever you see on the screen, that's what you write. You write down the details, what happens. You know what I'm saying? You write down the dialogue. It's a lot more difficult to to to, to, to what to to write. Hence why I'm gonna study the Fellowship of the Ring script, because Peter Jackson wrote a masterpiece of a script, obviously, and I'm gonna read this book. It's an Amazon book. It's one of the best screenwriting books out there. I forget what it's called. I will tell you the name of the book when the, when the, when the book arrives in the mail in a good, like, five, six days from now. And I'm going to read that book. Obviously. Holy shit, I mean, you're prepped. Yes. 
I'm prepped. And I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm reading the screenwriting book in advance before I even start Sky. So that way I am, met, I am prepped as a screenwriter, as a co-writer for Zanus. Because there's nothing worse than I hire Peter Jackson and I don't even know how I want my movie to start. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I want to plan out the three volumes with VJ. We take notes. I'm not going to take notes for every scene. No, that's crazy. No, but I'm going to take notes. So I'm going to... I'm, we, we, we talk okay, the changes that should be made for Zanus. The changes that should be made for Zanus. And the what? And the... And the... Uh, and the what, and 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 and, and the details, the added details that should be added in the book. We give, we take a few notes here and there. Hey, okay, what what do you think should be added in some of the scenes? And we, we take those notes. And Vijay will be helping me, and Vijay will help me because I say to ass. Because I say Vijay's ass, Vijay will help me. Vijay will help me because I say Vijay's ass. You see what I'm saying? Here? Vijay will help me because I say to ass. I say to fucking ass. You see what I'm saying? Here? I say the fucking ass. I say VJ's. I say VJ's ass, man. Yeah, man. That's why what? Hence why I'm gonna be what? Prepped for Zanus, obviously. Because I saw a little bit of behind the scenes of Lord of the Rings. You saw Peter Jackson, you know what I'm saying, how prepped he was. You know what I'm saying, he, he co-wrote the script with that. Yeah, I saw Peter Jackson in the behind the scenes. There's a YouTube channel they, they discuss how like the prologue of Lord of the Rings was perfect. You know, and the prologue of of the Fellowship Ring was a perfect prologue, perfect way to start the movie, obviously. But it was a short prologue; it was only seven minutes. Whereas I'm not gonna do a thing for Zane's why I narrate like that. You have the narrator narrate for like seven minutes and you, for Tacky's first no. I want to actually tell the whole story of Tacky's versus life when Tacky's is born and what happens to him, obviously. The way you get it more powerful. So the ta the prologue will be a good like 50, 45, 50 minutes of the movie. And then, then after that you have young Tactius. And the second half of volume one is Tactius when he's older. Tacitonius when he's older. Cassius, Merrimus, Queen Sarah, they're all older. Lithius is older. She's like 21 years old. Tactius is 30. Tacitonius is like 32 and a half, 33 years old. Tacitonius is like two and a half, three years old than, uh, than Tactius. In the in the book, so sometimes I say he's two and a half. Sometimes I say he's three years older. It just depends where you read it, obviously. But he's pretty much three years old in Tactius. That's the Tony. So he'll be thirty three. That's why I'm gonna have them make John Boyega look a little older than me. I'll have him have like a beard. He has this like beard, and he looks like older. He looks older than me, obviously. Whereas me, I do not have a beard in 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 in, in, in the begin in the first the beginning and halfway through the story, I do not have a beard. Tacky starts growing his beard in volume three. I don't. I won't tell you why. You'll find out why he grows his beard. But that's what we're looking at a masterpiece. But Tacky does not grow his beard until volume three. Whereas Tacitonius, I'm gonna have him wear a, a Jamba egg. I'm gonna have him wear a beard to make him look older for the movie. And then Dijamon Su, I, I won't have him have a beard in the movie, but he'll look older, obviously. For 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 for, for young Takius, I'm gonna have him and, and and Don Cheadle and the actor for Queen Sarah, the actor for Baramis, and all of them. I'm gonna have them wear the CGI technology to make them look younger, make them look like they're like thirty in their thirties. Make it look like they're in their thirties. Yeah, make it look like they're in their thirties. And um Yeah. Um that way they look they look younger. 
And then later on, they will not wear the CGI technology, and they'll, they'll look their actual age. Because Digimon 2 is, like, in his 50s. Don Cheeto was, like, pushing 60, obviously. So these guys are all, all, are all what, are all really, really good for, for, for the role. Okay, for the, for, for the, the scene, the, the scenes when in Young Takus... The scenes in Young Tactius have him um, have them wear the CGI technology to make them look uh, uh, younger. Obviously, to make them look younger, and then um, once Tactius is older, you. Um, you, 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 they don't. They, they, they no longer need to wear the CGI technology, and they'll look their actual age. You see what I'm saying? Because, because, because I told you when Takis is older, it's like 22 years later. So Cassius and all of them are in their like 50s. They're in their 50s. Cassius, Merimus, and Berimus and all of them are all older. They're all like older men. They're all in their 50s. Whereas you want know, Takis is a kid. They're like in their 30s. They're like Takis is age when he's older. And so you need to have the CGI technology. I'm not going to have a different act, cast, a different actor. No. Just have them wear the CGI technology and to make them look younger. For a couple million bucks, you can get the CGI technology for the actors. Have them wear it. That way, it makes them look younger. Obviously. And then, and then 20 years later, they, they, they look their actual age. Obviously, Andy Serkis is going to have to wear the CGI technology too. As well as the actor for Eli and Cornelius. So Cornelius is an older man. Cornelius, Cornelius is like in his 20s. When Takis is born, and then later on, he's, when Takis is older, he's like in his 40s. Late 40s around there. So you need to have the actor for Cornelius, Andy Serkis, and Eli wear the CGI technology too. Because Job is in the... Andy Serkis, you're going to see him in the prologue too. For, for, for He's in like in a couple scenes. You're, you're going to see him. So Andy Serkis will be filming vo, uh, in, in, for Volume 1, but like he'll only be in a couple scenes and that's it. He'll be filming the beginning of Volume 1, the prologue. He's in the prologue, obviously. Eli is in the prologue too, and Cornelius is in the prologue too. Hence, why you have to have all those guys wear CGI technology to make them look younger. Job is like in his thirties when Takis is born, and there's a scene in Sapphire's obviously. Eli is like uh, is like in his forties. Eli is old. Eli is like in his sixties, man. He's old, man. He's old. He's an old dude. Obviously, when Lithia is born, he 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 gets Lithia when he's like. In his in his forties, he, he, he gave me. I always play in the book, but when you if you if you follow the timeline, Lithia is born when Eli is like in his early forties, and Lithia is like two years younger than Taki. She's like twenty eight years old, twenty nine, whatever it is. I don't I don't explain I don't explain her age, but Lithia is like about twenty nine years old in the in the book. She's like a year younger than Taki. Is around there, right? And Vija will play the role of Lithia, obviously. Yeah, so Annie Circus and what's his name? And actor for Eli and, and, and Cornelius, those guys are gonna have to wear the CGI technology too to make them look younger. Because nowadays you have you can wear CGI technology to make you look younger. And so they're gonna have to wear that to make them look younger for the prologue, obviously. Okay, make 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 Annie Circus look like he's in his thirties, his early thirties. Make Eli look like he's in his early forties. Make uh Cornelius look like he's in his early twenties. Mid mid late twenties around or mid twenties around there, Cornelius, and Cassius, Merimus, and Berimus all around her like early thirties when Takis is born. Queen Sarah make her look like she's in her. Uh, Queen Sarah's old, she's old. Queen Sarah, I don't know. Queen Sarah is about like I don't know fifty years old when Takis is born, and then when Takis is older, she's she's like in her seventies, whatever it is. She's older because because um. Uh, Tactius the uh, the first is is, is like almost is, is, well, I don't want to spoil it over. He's old, he's really really old. He, he, he they gave birth to Tactius when they were very very old. They're older people, obviously. You know how in Thor, you know how in Thor, um, Chris Hemsworth's father is uh, Anthony Anthony Hopkins or everything. You know how he's like fucking old. He looks like he's like seventy. Yeah, I'll think something like that for Tactius the first. He's old. Queen Sarah, I'll have them make her look like she's her, her, she's in her fifties. For Queen Sarah, she doesn't have to wear the CGI technology. Um, and when Takis is older, she's really old. She's like in her seventies, Queen Sarah. She's older, man. She's old. Queen Sarah's an old woman, obviously. Elizabeth, Lithia's mother's old too. 
He says, Elizabeth, Elizabeth will be will look like she was is and, and Eli and all of them are in their like sixties. When Lithia is older. They're old people. They're like in their sixties, seventies around there. Eli and, and Elizabeth and all them. Yeah, they're like Eli and Elizabeth are like in their seventies, man. Around there. They're old people. That's why I want the actor for Eli to be old. I want him to be look like he has to be between the age of like 65, 70. For the role of Eli, the role, of, the role of Cornelius, the actor, needs to be between the age of like 50 to like 60 around there. 45 to 60 years old, the actor for Cornelius. And then Annie Circus is cast for Job, obviously. And Annie Circus is in his late 50s. That's why he's perfect for the role of Job, because Job is like, in his, is like in his 50s when Takis is older. You see what I'm saying? And that's why he's really, really good for, uh, for, 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 for the role of Job. By the time Annie Circus films the movie, he'll be in his early 60s. He'll be like 61, 62. Still young, obviously. But I, I want him to be that. I want Joe, the actor for Joe to be that age. To look like he's in, he's in his 50s. You know what I'm saying? Dijimon Sue's in his 50s too, I believe. And that's why he's perfect for Cassius. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and what? And I just oh, boy, they're going to have to make him look older in the movie. He's going to have like a white, gray beard. And they're going to make him look older in the movie, obviously. Because Tacius is, is, is the first is, is an older dude. He's not a young guy. He's, he's older. I mean, he's older. Yeah, he's, he's, he's an older dude. I don't, want, I don't want to tell you too much without spoiling the story for you, but he's, 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 he's older. He has like a white beard, a white like gray beard. And so they're going to make you Remember that picture you saw in Marvel? Think of something like that, except Tacius the first. Except I just will look a little bit older. I'm going to have them put, put makeup on him to make him look a little bit older. I'm saying look like he's in his seventies or some of that, sixties, sixty-five, that way he looks he looks a little older. Aratat's also old too. Aratat's old, and for fool and tackers are born on the same day. I haven't why are they born on the same day? I don't want to spoil a sword for you. It's part of this. You have something to do with the prophecy. I don't want to spoil a sword for you, obviously. Obviously, right? All I'm gonna say is without spoiling a sword for you. I don't explain this in the book, but the, the earlier generations were the doubting generations. And then Tachys, when Tachys is born, it, it is what? It is, it is, it is the lucky generation. That's why whenever Tachys is born, um, um, ta whenever Merimus and Cassius go to go, 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 Tachys is walking up. Queen Sarah's pregnant in the chamber. She's like, where's my husband? I'm saying, yeah, he mentioned something about getting some fresh air and joining the senior. And, okay, yeah, where is he? Yeah, he's, he's at the walls. He took, a, he took a walk along the walls. You know what I'm saying? And Labia, Cassius' mother is like, hey, son, go, go, go get him. Go, go get him. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he can't, he can't, he can't, Tachius can't miss his son's birth. You know what I'm saying? And, and Tachius walks up the walls and he, he, you know what I'm saying? He, 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 you know what I'm saying? He, he looks, he look he, he looks, he looks ahead. You barely see the self visible, obviously. And you see a demonic face. I, what's the demonic face? I don't want to spoil a for you. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and there's another face that appears in the sky. Staring at Tachys the first, and Tachys looks up at the sky like it's time. Obviously, that's how creative I am. I like I, I don't have to I can I can I, I don't have to explain much in a book, and in, in that one sentence phrase, you, you can sum up like a history, like a, 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 sum up a lot of detail for the story. See what I'm saying? It's time. Why? Because Tachys' generation is a lucky generation. You see what I'm saying? Whereas the other generations were not lucky. Tachys the first generation was not lucky. The other generations were not lucky. And throughout the and th throughout the um, throughout the what Th throughout the generations what uh, people pe people lost faith obviously in the kings and they what and they they, they they're the doubting the doubting generations you'll see what I mean to, to that way you doubt that way you you understand what I say when you read my read my book the previous generations in the past over a thousand years became they became doubtful of the of 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 of, 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 of a what. Of, 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 they became doubtful. They were not the lucky generations. You see what I'm saying? I don't, I, that's all I'm going to say. That's why you can easily turn Zanius into prequels, obviously. But I'm not going to make Zanius into a prequel. Zan I'm make, I, what I'm writing is good enough. After this, I'm retiring as an author. I'm just going to start Sky Source and acting movies with my wife. That is it. I'm just going to start Sky Source and acting movies with my wife. And that is it. I'm not going to what? I'm not going to uh, waste my time. People are going to ask you, "Ivan, are you going to write prequels?" I'm like, "No, guys. I, I, I think it's. I, I think I've learned my lesson. Most people who do prequels end up ruining the, ruining the series, as most prequels for movies are always bad. Most prequels for books and movies are always bad. 
That's why, in my opinion, when you, whenever you write a masterpiece, stay away from writing prequels. You're going to end up ruining the story. You know what I'm saying? You, because, you, because, 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 because what? In my opinion, it's a bad idea to do prequels after you, do, after you wrote your original draft. If you want to do a prequel, write the prequel first, then write, then write the sequel afterwards. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm not, I am not touching Kate. Zayn's is the kind of story that I believe you should leave it alone. Don't, don't touch the story. Just tell that those the, 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 the three the three book story, and don't touch it. Don't do a prequel. Don't do sequels. You can that way you do you, you what you, you what you don't perhaps potentially ruin ruin the ruin the story. Obviously, like the Hobbit, the Hobbit it was a prequel to Lord of the Rings, and the Hobbit wasn't that great. You see what I'm saying? The, the movies weren't that good. They were, they weren't that great of a movie. You see what I'm saying? Huh? As Peter Jackson kind of ruined the experience. For the for, for for the book readers for the Hobbit because the Hobbit series movies were not that great. The, the first two were pretty good; they're okay, but the last one was terrible. The um, the uh, what the Battle of the Five Armies was terrible, man. Now that, that was that was not a good. I saw it on theaters, my like, yeah, this movie's bad. Well, Destination of Small was pretty good. I saw that on theaters. Whereas Unexpected Journey, I did not see that on theaters, but Unexpected Journey and Destination of Small were pretty, were okay movies. Whereas um the the what the third one, uh. What Battle of Five Armies was pretty, um, uh, was pretty what? Was pretty what? Was pretty, uh, was pretty what? Was pretty, uh, pretty what? Was pretty bad, man. The Battle of Five Armies, Peter Jackson knows the irony. I was bad, yeah. Battle of Five Armies was bad, man. And it was too, the, the one, the, the one thing I didn't like about the Hobbit, it was too much CGI, man. The world looked way too, way, way, way too computer, man. It's crazy. Even the elves looked a bit fake. They looked a little bit fake. The elves, the, the dwarf king, and also they looked all fake. Yeah, because in the war, it looked very computer -y. Like uh, That's why I'm not a fan of that full CGI stuff for the war, man. No, man. Stay away from that. Keep your world looking natural, like the original Lord of the Rings. Like Fellowship of the Ring. Fellowship of the Ring looked very natural. Whereas Two Towers and Return of the King, you can tell they start to add in all that silly CGI. You see what I'm saying, as no offense, but Return of the King had some messy CGI. It had it had some pretty bad uh, CGI in Return of the King. That's why it's the worst of the three movies. You see what I'm saying? Here? The CGI was pretty good, but there was a lot of messy CGI. Hence why Peter Jackson did reach a lot of reaches for Return of the King because the CGI in that movie was a little messy. Like the um the, the City of the Dead, you know what I'm saying? The ships, the people on the ships, that was bad CGI. You know what I'm saying? Pretty bad CGI. Yeah, it had pretty bad CGI. Hence why what? I'm not a fan of full CGI for everything. No, man. Mix it with your with your with your with your practical and physical effects. That way your world looks more natural. I'm gonna shut my camera here.